Hi, this is John Sawash, founder of the Google Certification Academy, and today I'm going to be taking the Level 2 Google Certification Test. I take this test every year to make sure that I'm familiar with the content and format of the exam so that I can help you be successful on it as well. I've already registered for the exam, I've got the email ready to go, I've got some good tips about uh, what you need to have ready to take the exam latest version of Chrome, webcam, good internet connection. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click to open up the exam window. It's gonna ask me to log in with the credentials that um, I was given in the email and uh, I'll go ahead and spend the next couple hours taking this test. Immediately after I'm done, I'm gonna come back on and give you my thoughts, share some general strategies, tips, some uh, reflections on the content and uh, how to be successful so that you can pass and become a Google Certified Educator as well. All right, just finished the Level 2 Google Certification Exam. In this video, I'm going to share some of my thoughts on the exam and the process. But first, let's check out the results. So I just finished the exam. I got the email. It says my um, results are ready. I'm going to click the link. I really hope I pass. It'll be super awkward if I don't. Here we go. Hey, you did it. I am a uh, recertified level two uh, Google educator. It's good news. It would be an awkward uh, video if uh, I didn't pass. So, you know, when you register to take the certification exam, uh, you have to sign a pretty detailed non-disclosure agreement that um, you promise not to share the actual content of the exam. So I'm not going to be talking about specific questions in this video. If that's what you're here for, uh, you'll have to look somewhere else. But I will share some general overall thoughts on the exam, the process, and some tips uh, that will help you uh, be successful. Now, first of all, let's just talk about the registration process. I actually registered for the exam yesterday. Um, it does take a little bit of time for Google to prepare your account and all the exam material. Um, I got my email with all of the credentials that I need to take the exam pretty quickly within an hour, um, but it, it's not instant. So you definitely want to plan a little bit ahead of time. I would register perhaps the day before you want to take the um, exam so that you have everything ready to go. Again, pretty quick, um, but not instant. Now, once you register, you do need to take the exam within one week of registering. Uh, if you don't uh, sit the exam uh, before that, the, uh, your exam will expire. Uh, you'll get an email from Google with the information you need to um, log into the exam. So I'll pull it up here. You're going to get an email looks like this. Um, you know, gives him some tips. It's a three hour exam, 180 minutes. It is timed. I'll uh, talk more about that. Um, and then some uh, recommendations. I mentioned those earlier. And then the important part is the link. So that's where you start the exam and then you'll get a unique username and password that you'll use during the exam as well. Now, this is actually the setup that I use to take um, the uh, the test it works really well. This is just an external monitor. It's nice and big, which allows me, I put all of the exam content over here. I open up an incognito window. And I actually, even um, what I ended up doing is I had one window open with the exam. So over here on the left, and then I had another window that I slid to the right, which had Gmail, Drive, Calendar, Sites, YouTube, you know, all the different tools that I had to use to complete the, the scenarios within the exam itself. And that worked out really well, especially because you're gonna have to do a lot of copying and pasting from the question of the exam. It'll say, create a document, create a form, um, and name it this, and I can just copy it from this you know, half of the screen and then paste it into the document or form, whatever I have open up on the right. So that worked out really well. If you have the um, availability of a second monitor, especially a larger one, this is a Chromebook. Everything worked uh, just dandy on a Chromebook, but you know it is a smaller screen and um, it would be a little bit difficult uh, to navigate everything um, on that screen alone. So that's a little tip um, that hopefully uh, will help you out. I uh, was pretty impressed overall with just the general 
um, directions and, and guidance of the help prompts. You know, everything they told me was very accurate. Um, incognito windows, you know, they gave me some tips. Uh, I didn't encounter any significant technical difficulties. Everything worked just as they described, uh, which was great. Um, I've taken this, gee, probably three, four times now. Um, and every time it gets better in terms of just the technical end of it working like it's supposed to. So that's that's great news. Um, now I was surprised about a couple things with the level two exam. And um, I have an entire review of the level one uh, exam as well. If you're taking level one, you can look for that video. Um, I'll link to it in the, the comments for this one. Level one includes a kind of a multiple choice matching section. Level two does not. I was expecting it um, and I, I have to look up, but I believe I did that matching section in the past, but this time I did not receive that multiple choice matching section. I went right into the scenario questions. Um, there were 12 uh, scenarios that I um, was presented with. Each scenario has multiple parts to it, or can. Um, there are anywhere between one and four or five steps to each scenario. Um, Again, I'm not gonna reveal and, and tell you specifically what questions were on the exam, but I did keep just a general tally of how many questions I was asked about sites, drive, maps, blogger, et cetera. Um, a lot of the questions touch on more than one thing, so this is not 100% accurate, and Google does pull from a question bank, so you're gonna get different questions. There's no guarantee that your experience is gonna match uh, mine. But on my exam, I had the 12 scenarios. Five of them touched on different elements of Google Sites. One uh, touched on Google Maps. Um, only one question was specifically on Gmail. Um, there were tons of questions that would have me email things, would just compose a message and send it. Uh, it didn't really talk about the features of Gmail itself. Um, two questions on YouTube, two questions on Google Calendar. Um, Google Hangouts Meet was referenced. Um, I was impressed that they had updated the exam content to reflect the new integration of Hangouts Meet instead of uh, just regular Hangouts. Um, you know, virtually does the same thing, just a, a different name for it, essentially. Um, I received a lot of questions on Google Forms. I counted at least five questions that had a significant forms component. Uh, four questions on Google Classroom. Uh, level two definitely went more in depth with Google Classroom than the level one uh, test did. Two questions on Google Chrome, two questions on Google Docs, three questions on Drive itself. Now, a ton of questions would ask me to go into Google Drive and find files, open files, um, things like that. But there were two questions that specifically had me do things within Drive, um, uh, the product itself. One question on Google Sheets, um, definitely a more advanced question with Google Sheets. Um, this is not a beginner level question. And then I got two questions on Blogger. Um, there are many more products that are listed as being a part of the level two test. I did not get any questions on them. So there would be things um, like Google My Maps, um, Google Books, Google Scholar. Um, those are a few that come to mind. That doesn't mean you won't get questions on them. Again, Google pulls from a question bank, so um, you may get different things than I did, but uh, um, that's what I got. Um, I'll leave a summary of that in the comments of the video so you can uh, check it out uh, if you want as well. Um, so just some general thoughts. I, I, I wrote down some notes in um, Google Keep um, just to think about. Uh, we talked about the no matching section. Uh, definitely more complex than the level one test. Um, I guess the way that I would describe it is that the level two test um, might, it requires you to, to know about certain features and to like enable or turn on or configure features in order to answer the scenario questions. The level one test pretty much focuses on the um, default features and settings of tools. Um, uh, Gmail is an example. So the Gmail question that I got, um, the feature that I was being asked to 
work with was not enabled. Like I had to go in and turn it on before I could even answer the question. I think that's really what they were trying to um, determine that I could do is I knew about that feature and where to um, go into settings and find it to enable it. So definitely a more advanced test. It's the level two test after all. I mean, it makes sense. I wouldn't say that it was, you know, exceedingly hard. Um, it was very reasonable. There wasn't really anything on the level two test that I don't think you should know about. Um, uh, I think it was great. Uh, it was very, very good. I did have one, I think, issue with a Google form question. Um, if I understood what they were asking me to do, I was unable to complete it as they asked me to because I didn't have access to the form um, they gave me to. I could view it, but I couldn't edit. Um, I had to kind of fudge my way through it and come up with a workaround, which um, I passed. I, I don't know if they counted for me or against me, um, but that was one issue. I had a little drive compatibility issue that I, I, I wasn't sure how to handle. I did not see any links within the, um, the quiz or the, the uh, exam um, experience to flag a question or mark it at, for needing help or a problem or technical issues. There is a, a form at the end of the assessment that you can submit um, if you have any issues, but um, nothing during the question itself. Um, so that, those are my experiences, some general thoughts. Again, um, if you are a daily regular user of all of these uh, Google products, um, I think the level two exam is gonna be very reasonable for you to, uh, to pass. Um, certainly look at uh, some of the resources that I've created on my website, geeducator.com. Um, also in the Google Training Center, uh, going through that would be a helpful experience as well. But overall, I had a good experience uh, with it, no issues at all. Um, I completed the test of the three hours. Um, I completed it in uh, about 60 minutes, about an hour. Now, I would not say that's average. Again, I take this test at least once a year, if not more, so I'm very familiar with it. Um, uh, in the past, I've said that the time limit is a, is a challenge, like getting it done. I'm gonna back off of that a little bit, having today's experience. Um, with no matching section 11 or 12 scenarios, I think three hours is a very reasonable amount of time to complete it. I don't think you need to be quite as nervous about running out of time as you may have in the past. Uh, I would say the level one test is actually more time consuming than the level two test. You get the same amount of time, three hours for both, but there's just less content on level two. Some of the scenarios were only one question for me, um, which I did in you know a couple minutes, uh, which is super fast. So uh, that's something I don't think you need to uh, worry about too much. One last tip before I let you go. Um, when you submit your exam, you finish, it'll uh, take you to a screen that'll just be like, your exam is processing and it sits there. And then it kind of, after a few minutes, it freaks out and it reloads and logs you out. And it's a very uh, disconcerting process. You've just taken this exam, you're like waiting for your results and then it flips out and gives you nothing. I've taken now the level one and level two tests that happened on both of them at the uh, processing screen. I never got the um, results in the exam window. It logged me out, but then immediately when I go and check my email, I had an email from Google saying, here are the results of your exam. That's what we started this video with. So if you have that experience, don't freak out. Check your email, give it a minute or two. It appears that they're just emailing the results rather than showing them um, at the end of the screen. I'd love to know your experience with the uh, level two exam. If you have any thoughts or tips, if you agree or disagree with me, um, if you're getting ready to take the level two exam and uh, you have some questions, feel free to post them. I uh, do my best to answer every question on my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot. Good luck.